wrong. So who the hell are you where I have to hesitate to call you out when you're wrong? That makes a lot of sense. Are you worried, like, as you watch the show, like, we all know how it works. You know, you guys, we filmed this. You guys are in a good place. You know, it is it is what it is. But now we have social media and people are making comments online. Like, are you worried that as you watch it back now and the social media aspect gets involved in it, that you and Candy might start to go down this road of maybe not? You know not what? I hope that we don't. But Candy is very sensitive. She's very sensitive and she's spoiled. She's like a spoiled brat, a spoiled money making brat. And like I told her, you didn't even get to see this because she tells everything. So I'm going to tell everything. When we got into it, there was no cameras around at first. They caught it at the mid of the argument. I was, she was like, don't talk to me. I'm like, girl, shut the hell up. You spoiled fucking brat. I can talk to you. You were wrong. I can curse you out. Who the fuck are you? So uh, with Candy, it's just, Baby, I love you to death. You're a spoiled ass brat. And somebody got to tell your ass off. And God said, Marlo, I need you to just tell her when she's wrong. So I'm not worried about it. I don't care about the followers. I don't care about the status. I care about at the end of the day, when she goes in the room and closes the door, she can say, Marlo is one authentic, real bitch. And that's all that matters to me. That's why we love you. <laughs> what about Sanya? You mentioned, you know, she's new to this group. How did Sanya fit into this group? David, what's crazy, Sanya has blessed this group with keeping us together. She, I have to say, Sanya is one of the people that brought back the love and the checking on each other and doing things together. What was missing? Because I think we all had got to a point where it's like, oh, screw you. We get in an argument. We don't talk. Uh, when me and Candy got into it, as you all saw, Sanya gets on the group text. We have a whole group text. And she's like, is it safe? Like, she's the one that just keeps it going, keep us together. Her and Kenya uh, put together a photo shoot for us. So Sanya's just like a breath of fresh air. She's happy, go lucky. Now, how long will it last? I don't know. But uh, she's just like this Jamaican island girl that's so happy. And her next job needs to be content. She loves doing content. She's amazing at it. But um, she can't read that good. But uh, besides that, <laughs> you will see that in, she get read, read from filth by you know who. <laughs> what about Sheree? I mean, we have the return of Sheree, Miss OG herself. Like, how happy are you that Sheree is back? I mean, how can you not be happy? You got the damn OG Sheree, you know? <laughs> so she's not going to disappoint. Everything you expected is there. And Sheree even gives us a lot more of her this season. So you're going to be so excited to just see more about her, see her be more vulnerable. And it's just amazing to see that, to let that guard down. Whose shade do you think cuts deeper, Sheree's or Kenya's? Because those are two. Amazing. Uh, definitely Kenya. Definitely Kenya. Sheree. I mean, Kenya is the shade assassin villain. You know, Summer, I don't even call her Kenya, but she's Summer. Summer Shady, uh, Kenya, <laughs> whatever. But it's definitely Summer. Summer is just, goes below the belt. She knows how to befriend you. She's calculated. And uh, she knows how to just stab you right when, she's, when it's needed. Speaking of, you mentioned Cynthia earlier, and we all saw what happened on Girls Trip between Cynthia and Kenya. And I agree. I mean, Cynthia is the sweetest person, you know. It's like, how can you betray Cynthia? Girl, if you betray Cynthia, there's no hope for you and I ever. <laughs> uh, I could see that. Did you feel pressure coming into the season just because like, you know, Cynthia is gone and Portia isn't gone. And there's been so much talk of, you know, like Portia's not here. Cynthia's not here. You know, there was a lot of chatter of like people saying like, I don't want to watch without Portia. Where's Portia? Like, did you feel that pressure coming into this group without these two? Let me tell you what I felt, David, just being straight out honest with you. I felt pressure. I didn't, it's not that I felt pressure. I read the comments and what you're saying, everyone said in the comments like, oh, they only gave her a piece because they didn't have any of their originals. What I felt is I was a little sad because I'm like, damn started with half of these girls and when I finally had my moment the girls I've grown with the girls I have history with are not here but then God was like that's right they're gone it was their time and it was enough room for all of you guys at that time so right now I just got to come on and be the leader and teach these new girls in our group like hey how this is done and be the boss that I am 
And I thank God Candy is still there, but I do. I miss uh, Cynthia. I miss uh, Sher- I mean, I miss Cynthia. I miss Nini. I miss Portia because I feel this was a time when they should have celebrated me. And you guys still can celebrate and have a party for me because I know you still love me. Okay. <laughs> they can just have a party off air. That's off fun. air. Just celebrate me. Like to me, it means so much when you say, damn. Like, say, for instance, Portia, I have text messages that I would never get rid of. Portia DM me when she wasn't even on the show. She was like, I watch this show because of you. So at the end of the day, you have to love me. You have to sit there and study me and just say, damn, it wasn't her time. I came in. It was my time. And now she'll come back around. As soon as Simon money dries up, she'll be back and play with us. But it's like, still give me my flowers while I'm here. And it does hurt to see other African-American women that don't give me my flowers while I'm here. So Let's they're not you. coming to my funeral. They're not allowed to my funeral. Let's give you your flowers. Who, who do you wish that you were, you know, now that you're a peach holder, you've been here for 10 years that you were working with, like you mentioned, Nene, Portia, Cynthia, out of anyone, like we could throw Kim Zolciak in there. Like we could, throw, there- we could throw Phaedra. I love them all. I mean, let's, let's be honest. Epic TV, everyone I mentioned. Epic fucking TV. I would never have anything bad to say about epic TV. So you can't hold that against all the names from Phaedra to Kim to Nini to Portia. It is what it is. You have to give people their flowers while they're here. I don't care if these girls got to making money and got beside themselves. And what they need to realize, I've always been here. I didn't have a blow up on this show. I came on this show already blown and shining and being fabulous. I came on this show with Gucci runway on head to toe. I came on this show owning my own home, having the first Aston Martin here. Now, do I love my platform? Of course. Has it helped me elevate? Of course. But these girls came from shit to sugar. You feel me? So it is what it is. I feel you. I talk about that a lot on this. And then when they started making the money, they got beside themselves. Oh, I can't do this. I'm too. Bitch, you didn't have nothing when you came on here. How are you too good for this? Candy, you've always been with Escape, but baby, you elevated once you got on this platform. Let's not, let's be crystal clear. It's the facts. She elevated, okay? She was not known anywhere outside of here, Atlanta. You went in LA making moves. When you married Todd, that's when you got out to LA. That's when you got into New York. So, and when you got on this platform. It's a huge platform. And I agree. And like, we don't need to get into Nini specifically, but that's a thing. Like that's a lot of these women, not just on Atlanta, like get in their own way. It really. They got beside themselves. Because think about it. You love these girls in the beginning, right? And then they changed. When the money changed, they changed. Thank God I was used to money. Thank God I came for it. And Bravo is family. That's home. You don't get on a platform and betray a platform who changed your lifestyle that you never would have seen. And I saw this lifestyle before, but guess what? It has elevated me to a higher level. And it is what it is. You 